What is up everyone, Azariel here for another Let's Discuss video and today we're going to be co covering Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle 1 once again and this is going to probably going to be like the last of a few Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle videos that I make in regards to the game. You know, I've been covering this game more so than any other game possibly possibly because I've been more hype about it than any other game before. You know, it was announced at EVO 2017 and there's been a lot of controversy surrounding the DLC and pricing and what things are going to be. Now, I already uploaded, you know, a video like this already, but due to the fact that my background music was severely overpowering and it was too loud and I was waiting on this Arc System Works Universe live stream to start supposedly some big announcement they had to make they haven't even started it on time i figured you know what let me just go back and redo the video because you can't you, you can hear me but it, the background music was just too annoying anyway so it was finally unveiled the pricing for the game the pricing for the dlc and so forth and i figured you know what why not just go ahead and just uh cover this so let me scroll down and get this taken care of. Why is this acting all funny now? Uh, why does this thing do this? Why does it do this? Let me pause this. Hold up. We're going to get this right. We're going to get this right. There we go. So now that that's fixed, um, as you see right here, the game is drawing closer. We will be receiving the game five days after they receive it in Japan. Japan gets it on, on May 30. Um, excuse me. Uh, Japan gets it May 31st. Uh, I said Japan. Wow. Japan gets it March May 31st, and we get it on June 5th. So we get it about like five days after, which isn't too bad. It's going to be available on PS4, Nintendo Switch, and PC. But that's not what the main meat and potatoes of this is. We're here to talk about pricing changes that they made to the DLC because they made some changes. And I'm not going to say nobody's name in particular, but somebody on my last video that I made in regards to this had said that they weren't going to price the DLC, the DLC is for free. Why would they make DLC and not charge people for it? That was stupid. That's that powder, bro. That's that powder. But, um, but yeah, so, some interesting things going. So, first off, we will be getting an English dub, so that's, you know, good for the people that want to buy the game. Let me just say this right now so people won't be asking questions later. My opinion has not changed about whether or not I'm going to buy this game or not. I'm still waiting on a full retail version at a, at a reduced price tag. But for the people that will buy it, this is good news for you. So the retail price for the physical and digital copy of the game is going to be $50. $49.99 plus tax. So that's going to be $50. And they got six individual DLC packs, which is going to be $4.99 a piece. So that's $5 each. Um, but then they have a complete DLC bundle, which is going to be for $10 cheaper at going on at 1999 and then they got a full deluxe digital edition of the game which includes all of the DLC which is going to be for $70 uh, which is if you're looking at buying everything individually it's going to be $10 cheaper going on at about like $70 which is reasonably priced and then on top of that they made another announcement which um well which which I'm just finding out here now is that the first DLC pack, which includes Platinum, Ori, and Kanji, is going to be free for everyone at launch. So not only did they announce Blake and Yang at, you know, uh, prior to this announcement as free DLC, but you get three additional three uh, three additional free DLC characters as well. So for a total of five DLC characters. Now, in my last Let's Discussion video, um, I announced that. You know, in order for, I, I said that in order for them to, you know, do better damage control, Blake and Yang wasn't enough as free DLC. Saying that those two are going to be free DLC characters after all the controversy, after announcing that you were going to do DLC in the first place before you release any, before any other information about the game got announced, they announced DLC. And then they had this article which where they released that the game DLC was going to be released in volumes, was going to be released in volumes, and he didn't announce how um, often the volumes are going to be released. They had about like a good 18 to 20 different volumes that they were going to release the games in. So that's something that they changed with the DLC packs. Also, they, um, 
I said that they didn't do enough with, with the Blake and Yang as free DLC. They were going to have to release more. Me, I said that they were going to have to release at least eight more free DLC characters. But for the people that's buying the game, I would say that three is uh, an additional three isn't bad. And for anybody that's buying the game, you still got a better deal than if we if the controversy didn't you know make this much of a of a conflict or like this big of a situation if the controversy if people weren't tuned into the controversy as much they wouldn't have done this let's just be honest they would not have done this i, I don't see them doing this for, for whatever they only made blake and yang free dlc because people there was such an uproar and such a negative backlash from the dlc controversy you know and they had to do some damage control and that's where the five free dlc characters come from which in a way i'm not too mad at because again i'm, I'm waiting on a full complete version of the game before i decide i want to buy this i'm not buying it at launch i'm not interested in it because i feel like I'm, I'm buying the game piece by piece and with everything being like to me like the damage has already been done you know what i mean and i'm just waiting on a complete version of the game because i'm not finna sit there and wait for forever and a day for each character to be released like i'm done with that when it comes to fighting games um but yeah so looking at the full retail price it's 50 dollars now not including the free dlc characters because let's say somebody doesn't have access to internet you're paying fifty dollars for for only half the roster there's a total of 40 characters in this game you're only getting 20 characters for fifty dollars that's kind of like a uh, i don't know that's kind of like a yeah that's not good man that's not good that's that powder bro that's that powder but, um, yeah but for fifty dollars for only characters that's that's crazy to me like I, I i wouldn't pay that like i wouldn't pay for only you know i mean even including the other five characters you know you can say that you're getting pretty much like uh, a good 25 characters for 50 dollars which is better, but then you include the DLC that you gotta add, and, and they didn't, you know, announce, you know, what are it. And again, like they never announced what's in the DLC packs. You can only assume that the other characters are gonna be in the DLC packs, which is gonna be about like two characters per pack. So that's like five dollars per pack if you buy them individually. That's just like I don't know. To me, that's just. I don't know, man. I think something's funny with this. Like I said, I, I'd, I'd rather just wait for the uh, like some collector's edition or some like collector's edition to come out later on down the line, and they do like a, a reduced price tag on it, which they're going to do in the future. And I'll just take it as that. Be it a year from now or whatever. I'm not. You know, I mean, I'll be watching the tournaments of it, but I'll be, I wouldn't be participating in the matches. But. Overall, if you're going to buy the game, I will say this, you are in better graces than you were before, you know. Um, they didn't announce the DLC before, they changed like the DLC, that's the thing um, I'm really happy about for the people that are going to buy it. Because I'm, you know, even though I'm not buying the game and I'm, you know, I'm pretty much where I'm at as far as my decision goes with buying it, for the people that are going to purchase it, at least you have more of a confirmation as to what you're getting, you know, than before where it was just like a big mystery as to what you will be paying and things like that. So, I mean, you get five free DLC characters, which is good. I don't know if, if Blake and Yang are going to be available at download, I mean, at launch. I can only assume so. Um, but I'm just like, hey, I just really don't know if people would. If people are interested enough with me buying this game, then I may dabble in it, considering that, you know, they seem to try to do some damage control and I can't be too mad at them. But at the same time, I'm not interested in it myself. But for the people that are, you have a better deal. You have a better deal. You know, they did 
basically what I was suggesting, not saying they were listening to me, but they did the right thing by, by making three more characters free. You know, so that's, that's good. So, the link to this is going to be in the description. You guys can check it out. And I will see you guys next time for more Let's Discuss. Until then, peace and peace.